All right, so you played in the 1995 World University Games in Japan, correct? That is correct. Where you guys won silver. Yes, so unfortunately. What, <laughs> yeah. So what do you remember most about your World University Games experience? Well, the things that I remember most is just the coming together of people from all over the country for a common good. And that is, you know, when you think about representing your country like it gives me goosebumps like right now to think of the pride and the joy that i had in knowing that i had an opportunity to you know for some people this is an opportunity where they've never experienced another culture another country so not only do i get a chance to represent my country i get a chance to come together with some of the best and top athletes in this country to travel abroad experience another uh, another culture um, and represent my country. So it was a really unique and um, rewarding experience. Yeah. So do you believe that getting to represent the U.S. on a large scale like that made you a better competitor overall? Most definitely, because you're not only competing with and against the top talent in your in the country and USA, but you're also competing against some of the best talent in the world. Yeah. So, you know, obviously you're aware of the large university presence that North Carolina has, especially in the Triangle area with UNC Duke, NC State, Shaw and Mary's, all the, the little bit smaller colleges. So what are your thoughts on UNC and those other universities as hosts for the World University Games? I think it's an amazing experience. It would be an amazing experience because to me, this is basketball country. North Carolina is basketball country. And what better way to serve our basketball country uh, than to bring the best and the top players of the world here to the state of North Carolina? Yeah, sure. We are definitely basketball country. <laughs> um. And it gives, and it, and it gives, those young people from other countries an opportunity to experience our universities because you know when you think of the universities that are here in the state of North Carolina it's some of the top universities in the country like people long to come here like just recently uh, one of my former teammates Sylvia Crawley she's a global coach for athletes in action she had a young lady here from India and she wanted to go experience the campus of Duke University, you know, so that was an opportunity for her to fulfill one of her lifelong dreams. So there's a lot of young people out there all over the world that have lifelong dreams to step foot on the campus of, campuses of the University of North Carolina, Duke, um, NC State, all of these great universities that we have right here in the state of North Carolina. Yeah, so do you think the Triangle area is a good area for the games and does it compare well to uh, your experience in Japan? I think it's an, an, an awesome opportunity for this particular area. I think it would be well received um, because we are a basketball state. People love the sport. Um, and I think it's a great opportunity to for exposure. You know, a lot of times people are limited in their understanding of humanity because of their lack of exposure. You know, when I think about going over to Fukuoka, Japan, it gave me the experience to, to meet people from different cultures, different backgrounds. And I think sometimes the understanding, I mean, the importance of embracing people from other countries is exposure. And then you realize that at the end of the day, we're all human. Yeah. So in your perspective, what kind of positive impact should we expect if the Triangle was selected to host the 2027 World University Games? Well, the positive impact is, you know, bringing um, the center of attention of the world right here to the state of North Carolina. That's awesome in and of itself. Um, it's good for the greater community. You know, when I think about growing up as a young girl with limited exposure, you know, I didn't, there were a lot of things that I did not understand. And so exposure brings enlightenment. It teaches young people to dream. Uh, you know, so I think about like what if an opportunity like this would have presented itself to me as a young girl, how it would have broadened my mind and my horizon and my thinking. Um, so it's good for the greater community. It's good for young boys and young girls to see an opportunity like this and to dream big because growing up, 
I was so narrow minded in terms of just thinking, being able to use the sport of basketball to represent the University of North Carolina and not thinking on a global scale to where I can use my gifts and my talents and abilities to influence and impact the world. So in your opinion, what makes for the best athlete experience at a large event like the World University Games? What makes for the best experience mm -hmm. um, for an event like the World University Games? Correct. Yeah. I, I think, you know, just getting the community, the buy-in to the community is huge. Um, they, you know, when I think back to the World University Games that we played in, like the stands were packed. Thousands of, you know, home fans, of course. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing is that our community has to get behind it and back it and embrace it to make the experience great. Yeah. So last question here, is there any advice you would give the North Carolina bid committee that might help them get selected for the 2027 World University Games? Bid big or go home. <laughs> Let's bring the World University Games to the state of North Carolina. You know, it, it, it's an experience um, that young people will never forget. It will make a huge impact on our community, on our state. Um, and it, it would just be really great for us to bring people from other countries to be able to experience the beauty of the state of North Carolina. Well, thank you so much for your time and everything. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs>